All right. A quiet United hosting Plot 2 United in match day 35 of the MPFL. As you see coming into your screen, head coach of the Super Eagles, Jose Pacero, was in the building. And this was a match with a whole bunch of title implications in it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. And we start with our quiet United winning a foul right outside the Plot 2 United box. Samuel Almadi sends it in, but goalkeeper Suraj Ayala Saw sends it out. And here we have Adam Yakubo on the ball, a beautiful pass for David. David Onovo and he slams it into the back of the net and that made the score. Aqua United 1, Plata United 0. Beautiful pass right there and the finish was something also. Nice one and we have Aqua on the ball. Ubon Friday gets it to Adam Yakubo and I just can't explain how he misses this one right here right in front of goal. Goalkeeper somehow made him miss that. Babatunde Bello free kick pushed away by the goalkeeper and the chance goes away right there. Not much in that. Just a nice free kick. We have Plot 2 on the ball and a cross coming into the area. Trying to get it to Jesse Aquila, but the goalkeeper grabs it right there. And we have Edson Matthew trying to make it into the Plot 2 area, but it's fouled. Free kick taken by Samuel Amadi. Gets it to Babatunde Bello. A strike at goal, but the goalkeeper pushes it away twice. Ball cleared out the area and the chance goes away as you see Bello with the ball smacks it. Goalkeeper really should have caught the ball at the second time, but he got away with that one. Next we have Plateau with a nice passing move on the ball and it ends up with Victor Aripo who makes a nice touch to free up Jesse Aquila and he slams the ball past the goalkeeper and that made the score. Aqua United won. Plot to United 1. And as you see, the ball goes to Amos Giang. He gets it to Arico, whose beautiful touch finds Aquila, and he slams the ball into the back of the net. And that's a nice one from Plot to United. Next, you have Samuel Amadi skipping past his defender. He gets the ball to David Onovo, who goes down after a goalkeeper challenge. But the referee does not see that as a penalty. He points for a goal kick. As you see, it seemed like he was asking for that foul and the referee did not oblige. This time, a long ball for Aqua United. Who on Friday sends it to Naive Akbesiri, who tries to lay it off for Wisdom Fernando, but he just comes a little bit too late, and the chance goes away as you see Naive making his way. He could have shot that, but he went the unselfish route, and that made the chance go away. And again, a set piece for Aqua United. Goalkeeper makes the mistake. But his teammates plus himself bail him out, and that was how it went. As you see, he went to punch the ball, missed it, and it was a scramble right in front of the goal, but he ended up grabbing the ball. And this was the moment of the match. Naibe with a beautiful turn gets it in, and Leo Ezekiel somehow, some way, bundles the ball into the back of the net. Beautiful turn right here, and he just lays it on the plate, basically, and he just found a way to get the ball into the back of the net. Leo Ezekiel with the goal. Goal, and that made the score Aqua United 2, Plateau United 1, and that's how the match ended. Now, this result means that Plateau United, who are currently second on the MPFL log, can no longer be the champions, and the champions officially are Rivers United. They are the champions of the MPFL for the 2021-2022 season. As you see on your screen, 71 points in 34 matches for Rivers United, and they cannot be called by Plateau United, who have just played their 35th match and only have 61 points. The most they could get is 9 points. So that's how Rivers United end up being the champions of the MPFL for this season. Congratulations, congratulations to them. Definitely a deserved championship for them. And the hope is that they don't go off and lose all their players. And they don't go off and just do crazy stuff. Because I think this is a team that can go into the continent and really do some things. If they improve in one or two aspects, I'm pretty sure they will represent the Nigerian League pretty good next season. So congratulations to them one more time. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. Peace. Oh!